When it gets too busy, hospitals have used a practice called divert, and it's happening more often in Colorado. That tells the EMS providers who would typically bring patients to that hospital that they need to go to the next available hospital, that that hospital cannot accept that patient at that time. Kira Welch is with the Colorado Hospital Association. She says hospitals will do this for a couple hours to manage patient volume. The ERs have been very full. As we know, our ICUs are very full, and so hospitals are having to use that tool in addition to a number of others to try to manage their capacity. Welch believes hospitals are going on divert more frequently now for a number of reasons. More COVID-19 patients, trauma cases, and staffing issues. And staffing is absolutely the, the biggest crunch right now. If we can't staff a unit, then we can't provide care. We've seen staff that leave to go work in other states because they get incredibly high bonuses to do that right now. A spokesperson with South Metro Fire says on the radio he's heard hospitals go on divert more often. He's noticed it every evening when one to two years ago EMS rarely had to worry about it. We do have usually a, probably a couple hospitals each day or every few days that go on divert. As I mentioned, it's probably only for a few hours as they really work on their patient throughput. Denver Health says it was diverting patients off and on over the weekend because of a high number of patients. Welch says trauma cases will not be turned away when a hospital goes on divert. Things that are typically seen in an ER, so it might be like a stroke patient or chest pain, potential heart attack, um, but we're not talking about, you know, gunshot wounds or uh, massive traumas. When patients need care most, this tool can take them to the place where they'll be seen the fastest. If we could get our COVID volumes, our COVID hospitalization numbers down, that would take a lot of the pressure off of our hospitals. We started reaching out to hospitals last week and we didn't really get anywhere. So we reached out again this week and still we have not been told how frequently they are going on divert. Kyle, that would be good information to have. So if they're watching, uh, call Kelly back. Kelly Rinky reporting. Thank you, Kelly.